Now I'd like to show you how you can work with multiple figure windows and also how to create multiple plots in the same figure window with subplot command. I have an existing script called plots and this generates two Lisa Zhu curves in the same figure window. Let me illustrate the overplotting technique. Again, this is a single plot with two curves overlaid. Now I'm going to add a third curve. And instead of having these all appear on the same plot, I'd like them to appear in their own figure windows. Type figure to open a new figure before you issue subsequent plotting commands. You'll see running that script now has produced figure one and figure two windows. Let me run it again from scratch. There's figure one from the first plot command and then figure two from the second plot command. You can close the current figure window by typing close by itself. And at this point I've closed all the figures. There's none remaining. Let's open those again. Now you'll notice that every time I run the script, I keep generating additional figures. At this point, I've got four different figure windows. You can say close all to get rid of a lot of figures all at once. Now figure alone simply creates a new figure. If you say figure parentheses number, that directs the plot command to a given figure window. And if the figure window is not already open, then it creates it. But again, after multiple runs, now I only have figures one and two. All right, now let's take a look at the subplot command. This is a way of getting multiple plots in the same figure window. Subplot has three arguments. The first two define the number of rows and columns in the plot window. And the third one tells you which plot to use. Let me illustrate this. There's plot number one, plot number two. I'm going to switch this around so now I have two rows and one column. And there's plot number one on top and plot number two on the bottom. Let me change this to two rows and two columns. Now we have plot one, two, three, and four. And I'll finish off here by directing a new plot to that subplot location number four. I'll use Y3 and then go back to the defaults for color and line style and so on. And there you see it, plot number four.